Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of, of Yona of the Dawn, Episode 2. Wonderful episode, okay? Like, I really enjoyed last week's episode, but this week's episode I thought was even better. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is the revelations in this episode. Supposedly, according to Su Wan, the reason he killed uh, Yona's father <clears throat> is because apparently Su Wan killed... Or, because uh, apparently, you know, his father, King Tu, killed his own brother, who happened to be Su Wan's father. Okay. And Su Wan was always mad that King Tu was chosen to inherit the throne instead of his brother, because his brother was older and a much cap more capable ruler and fighter, and King Tu was supposedly a cowardly king. So, but, but he always accepted it because his father seemed okay with it but so those are basically supposedly the two things the two reasons why Su Wan killed the king now I have a theory here though I theorize that that's actually not the case and that head general that's always that was always with Su Wan in this episode is actually a snake and he's tricking Su Wan and manipulating him from the sidelines without Su Wan even knowing it obviously and that maybe it was actually him who killed his father I mean, because I've seen this type of thing before, before play out, so that's my theory right there. It could be right, it could be wrong, whatever, but I really did like the revelations in this episode, okay? Because really, it's not about him just hating the king in general, it's more about him just wanting revenge for his father. Mainly. Which is why he killed him, okay? Another thing I really loved in this episode was the fight between Hawk and Su Wan, because that was a really good fight, okay? Now, the animation in this entire episode was really good, but especially in that fight. Every single movement was so quick and flu fluid. Maybe not as qu near nearly as quick as in, say, Fate's Day Night, but... Because that fighting is really fast-paced. But it's still quick and fluid, and it just looks really good. But the fight was probably my favorite scene in this episode, despite how short-lived that action was. Okay, okay. Then, of course, uh... Yona and Hawk escape into the mountains, supposedly around the area where Hawk grew up at. And we cut years, cut to years later where Hawk and Yona apparently are returning to the kingdom to, to reclaim it. And what I really love about this scene is that it seems like Yona is not going to be just the generic, stereotypical, weak female character, weak main female character. It seems like she's actually going to fight on the front lines with her soldiers. Okay. Which is really good. It actually makes her a real, a rather likable character, main female character. Okay. Um, now, what I do hope they do next episode though is actually go back to when they were escaping again and actually show how they got to that point. Okay, because I really would love the time to be filled in at least a little bit. You know what I mean? But either way, though, this was a really good episode. Okay. So I talked about the uh, revelations and the fight and the ending and the animation. Uh, the the music is also really good too. They all of the music in this episode was amazing. Okay, it really was. It was so beautiful and it fit the scenes perfectly. And I still remember some of it afterwards, which is very rare for me when it comes to to music that's in the actual con der, content of the episode when the episode is playing. Okay, so that's really good right there. Of course, now. So the so, so the big fifth question I think needs to be asked here is 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 really who do you feel sympathy for Su Wan at all because again it's definitely a revenge thing and obviously you can't judge a person by but by, by the way they appear now obviously I feel sorry for Yona as well because she lost her father she ne I mean you you never want to believe that someone you're that close to is would actually do something like that, okay? That's why she reacted like that. You'd never, no one would ever want to believe that, even if it's true. Now, we don't know for sure if it is true or not. That's just Su Wan saying stuff. You know, for all we know, like I said before, that that head lead general of his might actually be the one who killed it, Su Wan's father secretly, or maybe Su Wan was just spouting bullshit for all we know. <laughs> you know, he could, he could have just been trying to shut the princess up. Uh, you shut you on that up. So, who knows? But there's lots of things that are open to interpretation here so far. But I cannot wait for next week's episode because 
I think it's going to be really good once again. Uh, the emotions were running really high in this episode. And it really made me, like, I couldn't get enough of it. Like, I know, it's kind of hard to explain, but I just really enjoyed this episode, okay? If you've yet to see this week's episode of Yona of the Dawn, I definitely recommend that you do. It's it's a series that, at least so far, is definitely worth watching. Okay, Studio Periot, so far, at least so far, is doing a really good job with this series. Uh, I don't know if it's rushing the source material, but at least for an anime-only perspective, it doesn't really seem rushed to me, okay? Another thing is that at the very end of the episode, we uh, when Yona, y Yona was coming back to her kingdom, supposedly, we saw that basically her with five of her soldiers. One of them was hot. One of them, I believe, was hot. But the, but there was four mysteri other mysterious ones to make five in total. I believe, I'm, I'm guessing that those five are probably her, uh, like personal, soldiers. Kind of, look, kind of like what Hawk was in the past to the previous king. Okay, that's what I'm guessing, anyways. But anyways, like I said before. If you've yet to check this episode out, I definitely recommend that you do. It's worth a watch. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.